In this next video, I'm going to show you the steps involved in creating a new architectural dimension style. And these are based on the settings that are in Chapter 6 of the textbook. Uh, these are at the back of the book. They, they tell you what the dimension style settings for the cottage project are. But this will be similar if you're completing the assignment in Chapter 12, the cabin. You would just follow those settings. So here's how we get started. We want to open the dimension, the dimension Style Manager. And the way to do that is to go to the Dimension Toolbar and pick on the icon at the very bottom right there. Another way to do this, though, would be to go up to Annotation and uh, pick on Annotation. And we could go right over here and we would pick actually on this button right here that says Dimension Style. That's another way that will open the Dimension Style Manager and so I'm just going to pick on that one. Either way would work. So that opens this box that says Dimension Style Manager on it. The next step is to select the New button. And when we do that, it's going to open the Create New Dimension Style dialog box. And we're going to rename the new style ARC ARCH48. And then we pick continue. Now that takes us to the new dimension style dialog box where the tabs where we enter all the settings are located. So I'm going to start with the primary tab right here and uh, change the settings in this and these are the settings that I'm going to put in here. For my unit format I'm going to pick on this down arrow and make sure that architectural is selected. For the precision I'm going to set it to 0 feet, 0 inches. For the fraction format, I'm going to choose not stacked. And so this way when we when it puts in fractions, they're not stacked one above the other, but they're written beside each other with a slash drawn between them. Scale factor is 1, that's good. Everything else is good on this one. The next tab I'm going to click on is the lines tab. So on this one, what I want to do, I want to make extend beyond tick marks. I'm going to have to change that one. Now that's grayed out right now, and that means that I'm going to have to come back to that one in a minute after I change something else on, a, on another box. I want to make sure. So I've got several things that I want to set this extend beyond dimension lines right here. I want to set that one to 3 16 On the offset from origin, I want to set that to 1 16 I want 3 8 right in here and like I said I'll come back to this one I can't change that one yet until I change something else in this. I'm going to go to the symbols and arrows tab and under symbols and arrows I want to set architectural tick mark and that will default so that both uh, terminators will change to tick marks from arrowheads. Uh, leaders I can keep it close filled like it says closed filled and set this to 3 16 if it's not already set at 3 16 1 8 and over here on my center mark style I want line I'm going to select line for that the next tab is the text tab I'm going to click it my text style is going to be standard by block I want to set this text height to 1 8 And here's one I need to change, text placement. I need, for vertical text, I want to place that above the dimension line. So I want my text to be written above the dimension line. And left to right, and I want it to be aligned with the dimension line. Both of those, it's really important that you get both of those set correctly. Now we're going to go to the Fit tab. And on the Fit tab, we want to make sure that either text or arrows is checked here. And we want everything else looks so OK, but there's one thing I want to change right down in here where it says Use Overall Scale Of. I want to put 24 in there. And what that's going to do, it's going to take things like my text height, which is set to 1 8 of an inch, and it's going to multiply that times 24, so that's going to result in text on the drawing that's going to be 3 inches tall 
and that will be tall enough that it can be read. It, it will take other settings like the tick mark size and it'll multiply that times 24 and uh, anyway that's necessary in order to for everything to show up. So I'm going to go back to the lines tab and fix this extend beyond tick marks and I'm going to go 3 16 so I can just pick on that up arrow right there until it says 3 16 and at that point I'm going to select OK and then here's my arc 48 the new dimension style I just made and I'm going to click on set current and close and now let's see how that works I'm going to start by selecting a linear dimension and I'm going to snap at that endpoint. I'm going to snap to this midpoint and then I'm going to move my mouse inside of that and move out here and pick. Alright, now I want another dimension from the midpoint of this window to there and so what I want to go to is go over here and pick on continue and go over and pick that endpoint and then enter. Now I need to put an overall length dimension in here so I'm going to pick on linear and this time I'm going to dimension from this tick point this tick mark to this tick mark and I'm going to move out and place that dimension by picking. Now one thing I'm seeing here is that I don't I would like this to say 18 feet dash 0 inches and if I don't see that there's a dimension variable I need to type in it's called DIMZIN DIMZIN and press enter and I'm going to set that to 7 and then press enter. Now I'm going to do a dimension update that's this icon right here and I'm going to pick this dimension and this dimension and this dimension and press enter and hopefully they're going to update which they did and show the 0 inch marks that follow. And that's how you set a new architectural dimension style.